All right, so now I'm going to review some of the basic constructions. Of course, we'll need our handy-dandy little compass. Um, and about the easiest thing we can uh, construct is simply a line segment. And copying a line segment with a compass is pretty easy. I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to put the pointy end at one endpoint of my line segment. I need to make my uh, compass as wide as the line segment is long. And of course, if I don't change the length, the, the width of the compass, it's not going to change the length of a line segment. So if I got a line segment here, here I'm setting the width of my compass to the length of that line segment. If I want to copy this line segment, the length of this line segment exactly, to some other point here, well it's just a matter of taking that width, which is now kind of constant, it's not going to change, sticking my pointy end at my point, um, drawing an arc. And now, of course, you, you remember with the compass, if I, I, I just draw an arc, of course I, I, I could draw the whole circle, and you, you know a compass is a tool for drawing circles, but typically we only need um, one arc. And so, of course, I know, you know what I'm looking at here, if, if I make the circle a little bit darker so you all can see it. The width of my compass is, is really just the radius of the circle. And of course, I know the radius is the same for any point along the circle. So whatever point I pick along the circle, if I put it in like a point there, that's on the circumference of my circle, let me connect these two points using a straight edge. And what I've done is I've taken the length of this line segment and copied it almost exactly somewhere else. And I would encourage you just, you know, double check, use a ruler to measure this line segment, measure that line segment, and make sure you get the same thing. That's about the easiest construction we can do. Um, the second easiest construction we can do is bisecting a line segment. So here's another line segment. And of course, everybody remembers what bisect means. Um, this just means, you know, cut in half. And you can probably, you know, approximately uh, figure out where the midpoint of this line segment should be. But we can use, again, our handy-dandy little compass to figure out exactly where that endpoint is. So let me do that. Uh, a couple tricks here. I got my compass here. I want the width of my compass to be to make this the easiest at possible, I want, to, I want the width of my compass to be between half of the line segment and the end of the line segment, and so I'm going to rein this in a little bit. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make an arc up here above the line. I'm going to make an arc below the line. Now I'm going to, you know, I had my pointy end here. I made the arc above and below. I started from this endpoint. I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to put the pointy end at the other endpoint, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a mark above the line, and I'm going to mark the arc below the line. And something cool is going to happen, because now I've got the intersections of these arcs. So I've got two points here. If I connect these two points, What I've done is I've actually constructed a perpendicular bisector. And again, you can go through with the protractor and verify this. Um, the length of this line segment on, one, on this side of my bisector, that's going to be congruent to the length on the other side. And even more than that, what I find is that this new line that I drew using the intersections of my arcs is actually going to be perpendicular to my original line. And so that's something that's actually pretty cool. And so, you know, perpendicular, we know that this is always going to be a 90 degree angle. So if you need to build 90 degree angles, draw 90 degree angles exactly, um, bisecting a line segment is going to give you that 90 degree angle. So working with line segments is pretty easy. Uh, things get just a little bit more complicated when we work with angles. So we're going to do the same thing uh, with angles. So first I'm going to copy an angle. So we think about copying an angle. Here's an angle. Um, here's one side of my angle. Now what I want to do is I want to copy this other side so that the degrees between the two sides of my angles are exactly the same. And so there's a little trick here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some marks. I'm going to use my compass. And so I'm going to set the width of my compass. I'm going to make an arc here. And that's going to make an arc here. So what I've done, I've, I've made an arc on either side of my original angle. 
And so I'm going to go over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make this mark here on the side of the angle. Now, um, what I need to do now, let me, let me keep drawing this circle, because I know, I know my angle is going to point up here somewhere just by looking at my original angle. So let me continue this arc up here. And so to figure out where my new uh, other side of the angle is going to go, I need to figure out the distance between these points of my angle. And so I can do that real here. I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to change the width so that this width is the same. What I'm trying to reproduce is kind of an X up here that's copied over here on this angle. So let me put that mark up here. Uh, again, connect my vertex of my angle to the intersection of these arcs. Do, do, do. And there we go. I've copied my angle. Now remember, the length of these line segments, that's not really determining uh, anything about my angle. What I'm concerned about is how many degrees of this angle is. So the degrees here should match the degrees here. And you could check that with your compass. Let's just eyeball that. That looks like it's about 45 degrees. And over here, again, Looks like it's about 45 degrees. Fantastic. So that's how we copy an angle. Um, the other thing, just like we did with line segments, we bisected a line segment. I'm going to bisect an angle next. And so it's the same idea. We're going to start with this vertex here where the two sides of the angle meet, and we're going to draw some lines. Now, I'm going to not change the width of my compass. I'm going to make an arc on one side of the angle. I'm going to make an arc on the other side of the angle. And so now I've got two arcs on, on each side of the angle that are the same distance from the vertex. And I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to move. So here, here the pointy end of the compass was at the vertex. I'm going to move the pointy end so it's now at this intersection. And I'm going to make an arc somewhere here in the middle of my angle. I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to put the pointy end at the other intersection and I'm going to make another arc. And so, of course, we see now that these, these two arcs intersect each other. And, of course, what do you bet that's going to be an important point there? And so what I can do now, I'm going to connect the vertex of my angle with the intersection of these two arcs. And so what I have built, I'm going to put a little arrow here to make this array. Uh, what I have built now is a line that's going exactly through the middle of my angle. And what that means, of course, is that the angle on this side of that new ray is going to be congruent to the angle on the other side. And again, guys, I would encourage you to use your compass to verify uh, your constructions, especially as we get started with these constructions, just to double check that you're doing things uh, accurately. And so that's it for the four basic constructions. Uh, we'll get on to some more advanced stuff soon enough.